Well, they say a kiss is just a kiss, right? Not on the Jumbotron at a Cincinnati Reds game. Looks innocent enough. A man gives his girlfriend a big smooch. Problem is, he violated his parole, and his parole officer saw him. So now the kissing bandit is behind bars. Just Busted. his luck. Well, did Mariah Carey have another breakdown, or is someone in her camp playing a cruel trick on a fan? Sharon Reed with the buzz. Hey, Denise, whichever, it's downright nasty. A blind fan, Mariah's biggest fan, gets dumped on. Here's the deal. The grandmother of a 10-year-old blind girl who idolizes Mariah is stunned by a nasty email she got. Nana sent an email first to the star's website asking for a meeting. Long shot, didn't expect a response, but she got one. Look, miss, with all due respect, I have my own problems. I have no time to accommodate everyone else's. My sister is suffering HIV. Is anyone worried about about my problems, some people can be so damn selfish. Have a great day, signed MC. Nana thinks an imposter wrote it. Sean Penn, he's got a short fuse. It blew the other day. His wife, Robin Wright Penn, was spending a late night with actor and womanizer Colin Farrell. They're doing a movie together. Penn reportedly gave his wife hell, then called Farrell, gave him twice that. Remember the Spice Girls, hugely successful in their day, but also a bit of a joke, straight gimmick, straight pop. Well, Pop Spice, she's breaking out. Bling, bling, Victoria Beckham, hardcore now, hooking up with rap mogul Damon Dash in New York. He's huge, like P. Diddy, only he gets less pub. Speaking of Puff, he's also a huge posh fan. She could collaborate now with gangster rapper Old Dirty Bastard and the wildly successful Jay-Z. Insiders call Posh's new stuff out of this world. There's your buzz, David. Did you ever see the Spice Girls movie? That's a treat. <laughs> Did you ever think of something, then see your idea make someone else millions tonight? Someone has cashed in. Aww. A judge has ordered the folks at eBay to pay a Virginia lawyer 35 million bucks, saying the company stole his idea. The lawyer did something very smart with his idea years ago. You see, he patented it. Uh -oh. Remember that, kids? That was the proof he needed to win his case. My mom used clothespins for years to close the chip bag. She said, why didn't I think of the chip clip? I would have been a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, my mom did that, too. I know. Before I still use that, that, the clothespins, though. <laughs> All right, let's go to the uh, weather net first. Okay. Our right. choice. We're, yeah, we're right around 60. I, I got to move here because she just cut my time uh -oh. a little bit, so... Uh -oh. All right, 60 degrees. Well, we had to get that Mariah Carey story. All right, never mind. Oh. Dominion dual Doppler radar. <laughs> Wind, not a problem. This is the only shower that we have moving into uh, Coshocton County. The rest of the area dry. This is really weakening, and uh, we had some showers around earlier west of Seatown and uh, everything winding down. But we'll have more chances. 76 degrees, the high today. Well, we already did the almanac. Hey, did you notice we kind of squished this a little bit? The boss didn't like the full screen. He was like, hey, the more the ladies can see of tan check, the better. That's, you know, what he said. 61 Cleveland Hopkins, 64 uh, right now Columbus. And again, there's the showers. We lose the daytime heating, so these things really dissipate. In fact, I think we'll be partly cloudy here the remainder of the overnight. Watch out for that fog uh, that'll form, though, again later on. We've been sealing, see, seeing that with the uh, light winds. Showers and storms associated with low pressure mid-Atlantic. Again, more rain for the east. And now we get ready for our next batch. And uh, boy, is this next cold front going to pack a punch. So we'll be dry tomorrow. Another warm one coming up, relatively speaking, uh, in advance of this cold front. But then look at what happens tomorrow night on into Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms, another round developing. And hey, this is going to be quite a cold front. We're talking heavy rain, computer models printing up to an inch with this guy. And uh, then we're talking about falling temperatures again as we head into the weekend, something that you don't want to hear, I know. Areas of fog tonight, 54 degrees up to 76 tomorrow. Lake Erie, two feet or less. Do the boating tomorrow because the waves are really going to pick up tomorrow night and then on into Saturday. Heavy rain potential, falling temperatures. That 65 will be a midnight high on Saturday here, guys. But dry on Sunday, but it's going to be another cool weekend coming up. We were just we wondering, the two of us were, why you call the cold fronts guys? How do you know? How you sometimes know I call them guys, sometimes I call them girls. This one is a Remember that both, because it packs a punch. Okay. All right, straight ahead on 19 Action News at 11. It may be getting warmer outside, but David Rotman is getting ready to get on the ice. The Roddy Sports Challenge next. Action News. Now, Action News takes you into the two-minute drill. 
Reasonable deduction will tell you that the Cavs want Jeff Van Gundy to be their next head coach. It was believed he might end up with uh, Philadelphia. That's not going to happen. Van Gundy and the Sixers GM Billy King met. They both agreed it was not a good fit. Cavs also have Paul Silas on their list, but I would expect Van Gundy is coming to Seatown once the Western Conference Finals end, and that could be tonight. Spurs are up late in the fourth. All right, I can hold my own in a lot of sports, but hockey is not one of them. That skating thing is sort of tough, but what the heck, it's a challenge. Parma's Dan Fritchie has a shot at the NHL in June, so I thought I'd give him a shot at me. I'll try. All right, I was a little scared. Oh, I'm just scared, man. That's it. Oh, dude, you're so scared. Oh, my God. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh. Oh. Get that out of here. As soon as I learn how to move in this equipment, I'm going to maybe have a chance to see one. Did that go in? Smoking. Ow, my finger. We're going to do deeks, and technically the goalie always has the advantage. Let's see if that's changed up a little. Come on, man. Go ahead and try and score now, OK? I think you did me on that one, bud. Did he score? Oh, man. Hold on. You're winning. That was awesome, man. Good luck in the yeah. draft, huh? Thank you. Thanks for the lesson. That was, that was awesome. Okay, Danny, fun. Danny Fritchie, look for him to be, uh, what, top 10 in the NHL draft next month. No, Whitman, my eye makeup wasn't running. Don't be shy. Hey. If, if you or someone you know has a challenge for me, let me know. Go ahead and email me. Don't be shy. drotman at actionnewsnow.com, or you can call the station and ask for me. I'd love to hear about it and put you on TV, and you can spank me if you want. I mean, you know, in the Within sport. reason. Yeah, exactly. There's Stop another one. Me with those <laughs> hey, I can say, that is hard stuff, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that guy's My good. He's a goalie. Yeah. Way to go. Sport. Get that guy out of the crease. Cleveland rocks. We all know that. Yeah, next, find out how the rest of the country will discover that Cleveland is the best location in the nation. Action News is sponsored by Walmart. Always low prices. Always. Our town is going to get some serious national props right here on CBS early tomorrow. The early show featuring the North Coast in its Best of America series tomorrow. We all know Cleveland rocks, of course. Tomorrow, the rest of the country will know, too. Tune into the early show starting at 7 right after 19 Action News this morning. Maybe you'll see yourself, your neighborhood, or someone you know on national TV. And tune in tomorrow night for something in the buzz. Yeah, work in this one. Tomorrow's buzz, we told you about J-Lo's accusation that P. Diddy cheated on her. But what did she do to him? Hmm. The other side hit could have used her tenacity in a rock looking for us to die. Oh, boy. Remember All that right. movie, uh -huh. Boiled the Rabbit on the Stove? Oh, 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 hey, it's a pretty oh tough my. stuff. Very yes. tragic. <laughs> Thanks for joining Blank us at 11. Right? David Letterman's oh, next with Hugh Jackman and Kelly Clarkson. Action News at 11. Action News is brought to you by National City and its 30,000 employees who care about doing what's right for you.